Hi everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Uh, I hope guys that uh, my voice is clear to all of you. Uh, just quickly let me know if I'm audible and if the screen is visible. Then I'll start with today's class. So you guys have already uh, seen like what uh, today's topic will be. So basically today we are going to see, uh, we are going to write a program to replace uh, the like what we have to do is we'll be having a number and we have to replace all the zeros by fives. Okay. So uh, it doesn't matter at which place the zero is. We are going to replace all the zeros with five. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's just uh, see if uh, let, just quickly let me know if my voice is clear and if the screen is visible and then I'll start with today's class. Okay. Cool guys. I hope it's 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 okay. So yeah, let's start with today's class. So the question for today is we have gi we have given a number. Just suppose that the number is five zero zero three nine zero eight. Okay, this is the number. Okay, now what we have to do is basically we have to change this number to uh, to another number where you have to replace all the zeros by fives okay okay so i have replaced all the zeros by five okay so this is what we have to do now if anyone has any idea how you can achieve this do let me know in the live chat uh, i would really happy to see what you have done if anyone has any other approach to solve this you can just uh, write the code on any online code editor and save that and send the link to me via comment box okay you can write in the link you can put the comment of you can put put the link of your code in the comment and i'll be more than happy to see your approach so now what i'm going to do basically is i'll be uh having a while loop okay i'll be going digit by digit and for each digit i will be checking if the digit is zero i will replace it to five okay while n is greater than zero okay now, uh, in the meanwhile, what I'll do is this number which you are seeing right now, I will just what I'll do is I will uh, change it, it into an. Yeah, what I'll do is I will basically put these elements inside an array. I will create an array and inside an array, I will put these digits. That way it will be really easy. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll have an uh, I'll have another Okay, I will have another variable where that will be digit and digit will be n modulus 10. So this will give me the last digit and every time when I'll do this, I, I do this, I will basically, every time when I will do this, I will basically reduce my number, like divide my number by 10 to reduce the number. Okay, now I have to check this digit if, so here I will write a if condition, if d equals to equals to zero if my digit is zero then in that case what i have to do is i have to uh okay i will make another uh, i will what i'll do is i will change this d i will change this d to five if my digit is zero then i will change this digit, digit to five and after this what i'm going to do is i'm going to also maintain a variable i initially i will be whatever will be the length of this uh, this number i will i will be the same okay i will be the same okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so you know how to count a digit for a number so i will be uh, 7 7 minus 1 basically 6 okay and i will be creating this array of size 7 how i will get this 7 by counting the digits in this okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write arr of i minus minus equals to d okay so once this will be done i hope that the whole thing will be done so how i have to do this uh, let me just break down into simple points so my first thing will be to count the number of digits count number of digits okay okay once this thing is done, then I will make an array of size. This size will be a uh, count. 
okay once i will make this array i have to just write this set of code to find the find the number okay now let me quickly write the code for this and let's see if that is working or not okay okay i'll write the code in java language only and what i'm going to do is so i will have an integer in n equal to n in n equal to Five double zero seven three zero eight zero eight. Okay. Then I will have count equals to zero. Equals to zero. Okay. I will have. Yeah. I will have this. Okay. I'll also have D. Okay. And I will not initialize this D. Now, what I'm going to do is I have to count the uh, number. Okay. So I will just make a copy of this number. Int num equal to n and that's it while num is greater than zero what i have to do is i have to uh, every time i have to increase the count by one count plus plus and every time i have to divide by num by 10 that's how i will get the size of this number now what i have to do is i have to create an array int square bracket arr equal to i hope that everyone knows how to create an array equals to new int and here i will write count because the size of this will be count okay now what i'm going to do is i will have int i is equals to count because count minus one or you can say count minus one because i have to see where i have to add this uh, every time okay now what i have to do is i have to uh, write a while loop again and here I will do with n, n is greater than equal to, n is greater than 0. Then what I have to do is, every time what I have to do is, I have to find the digit d is equals to n modulus 10. And then after that, I have to divide by number by 10 and divide by 10. And after that, I have to check if d equal equal to 0. If that is equals equals to 0, what we have to do is, d is equals to 5 we have to change the value of d to 5 and every time what i'm going to do is arr of i minus minus is equals to uh, d okay yeah that's it i guess uh, that's how we are going to create this now every time what i have to do is now i have to just print this array so i will print the array for int i equal to 0 i is less than a uh, count and i plus plus and every time what i have to do is i have to print okay just give me a second okay every time i have to print arr of i arr of i and i will add a space by this I will not print i'll not do print ln i'll do i'll just do this okay now let me quickly just run this and let's see if this is working or not okay uh, num equal to num by 10 okay here i just have to do this num equals to num by 10 okay i hope that this is very easy you guys will not have any problem in understanding this Okay, int i, I will not, I cannot use i because i is already defined. So I'll use j over here, j and j. And here also I'll use j. Okay, let's just run this and let's see if this is happening or not. So my input was 5007308. Let's see what I'll get as an output. It's taking a little bit of time. Okay, you can see at every place where we 